Welcome to the Misfit One Lifestyles with Elizabeth Colon. She will awaken and connect with your Misfit One. Are you tired of the ups and downs in your life? Are you ready to live a healthy lifestyle once and for all? We are talking about all aspects of your life. Being fit is not just physical. It's also your mind and soul. Learn how to take steps in your life to move towards your goals. Elizabeth's goal is for everyone listening to the sound of her voice to get fit. Let's get focused, let's get intentional, and let's transform. Now here's your host, Elizabeth Colon. Welcome to another edition of Miss Fit One Lifestyles with your girl, Elizabeth Colon, and I'm also known as Miss Fit One. Today's guest is so important that I had to have a co-host for today. And my co-host is the one and only Pierre. You guys know Pierre, my toy poodle. But anyway, Pierre is here because we're talking to the founder of Pets to Go International, Angelina Cortez. Welcome, baby. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, ma'am. This is fantastic. And you see, you, you, you have someone that's near and dear to my heart. I love fur babies. So this is exciting. You know what's so great about it? You, you, you must love a fur babies because that's your company, right? Just tell us all about Pets to Go because I'm like in love with it already. Well, ma'am, let me, let me start here. My love for pets started, I'm 47, so I'm not ashamed of my age, so I tell it. But I, my great grandmother started in New York and Queens having us to take care of kittens that we had 16 cats. Some would come, some would stay, but they would always have babies. So my grandmother's like, clean their eyes like this and change the cat box like this. And so my love for cats and dogs just grew. And I can tell you the things that I learned about, uh, we fast forward over the years, traveling in the military, having you know, pets there. And then as an adult, I've always had a cat, uh, really two. And so <laughs> now I have two more dogs. But, you know, the love for the pet really started when I found out what was going on with them. Many people think that you could just get a dog, give it as a gift. Oh, they're going to take care of it. That's a lifetime commitment. Yes. On the clock commitment. And the pet is the one that suffers because they wind up at the shelter. And you know what? The shelters are full all across the country. We're working to change that. But right now, um, my, my love has really kicked in because we are transporting pets with pet rescues and we're selling product to the hospitality industry because more and more people are traveling. And so my dream is blossoming and coming true. So you're, you're right here on the cutting edge with us because uh, we need your little cutie to be right there, letting everybody know. Go out. Yes, and- listen, Pierre does travel, girlfriend. We just haven't, he travels everywhere with us um, prior to COVID. So um, since COVID, we really haven't traveled. We went to Mexico a couple of weeks ago, but he didn't travel with us because we're not exactly sure how um, the flights and stuff are happening since COVID, right. you know, so, but he tend to travel with us. We have his little bag. He fits under the thing. He even go into the restaurants. People don't even know. That's right. Because they he's don't with us. He's with us. So That's you have way. some great luxury travel experiences that you offer to your pets that, you know, is on the go. What are some of the things that you uh, make for them? Well, what we do, that we, we don't see anyone else on the market um, offering what we offer. And so what we did was we created a hospitality pet amenity gift pack. Because when you show up at the hotel, they have the robe that you can buy if you want to take yes. it home, slippers. They have all the little facial stuff in the cute packaging. And as ladies, we love that. Even the guys, I've had friends that keep all the little, you know, mm-hmm. sample size stuff that they give you. But there's nothing for your pet. And a lot of times you're paying for your pet to stay, but where is the pet experience? And that's what we bring to the hospitality industry. We are the pet lovers that created what we like to call the hospitality pet amenity gift pack. And so inside of these cute little gift boxes, and let me tell you, they are, we, we have so many different designs, but this is our puppy love. Everyone loves the puppy love. You see how big and thick that is? That is is awesome. With goodies and look and gold foil. 
everything listen, is beautiful. listen guys y'all can't see it but she is holding up the most adorable i gotta put this one out but she has the most adorable heart-shaped pack that's puppy love with like gold seal around this is absolutely amazing and it's so thick Wait. what's all in there now see we're right here okay so inside of our beautiful hospitality pet amenity gift pack we have thought of everything that the hospitality industry would need to give someone who shows up with their fur baby and the first thing that they're always concerned about is the cleanliness of the room so there's two hearts gel lavender lavender scented pee pads that come in all of our gift packs of course we have our super cute the you can you guess what goes in here no and look the poop bags yeah <laughs> did you see that you see the quality and that hardware oh absolutely beautiful God. this hangs right on, on the leash chain. so wherever you go that's right whenever you're taking your baby with you you always have a way to clean up and it's stylish and beautiful it's and cute upscale. i need one of those in my life here definitely needs that needs it for sure now we also have uh-huh, uh-huh. What else you got? This, which happens to be our BPA-free pop-up bowl. That's right, because when you are taking your baby with you, you're going to need a little drink of water. Yes! And it's great. It comes inside all of our gift packs because, of course, there's our branding. The hotels put their brand there as well so that you always remember who supported you and your baby when you showed up for your hotel getaway, right? Oh my gosh, Angelina, this is awesome. Look, also a matching heart rope toy. That's right, because your baby is important. And of course, we throw a luxury snack and my snack, I'm pretty sure my dogs ate it, was right over there on my desk, but it comes with a beautiful luxury holistic snack for your dog. Yo, let me let me just just pause right there. That toy is first of all, the other things that you stated was very necessary and I never would have thought about it either. Like never would have thought about that. But the toy is so great because when you travel, my dog loves toys. But when I travel, I don't want to bring his toys because he uh, squeak 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 all because he'll find that squeak squeak or I don't want it all over the place and we got to carry it you know it get all nasty but for him to have a toy when they get to the hotel bam yes we love our babies bam now are you only going through hotels or can we order these <laughs> what you can we do we have been pressured to start selling on our website. And so pets to go dot pet, P E T S, the number two dot P E T, because everything begins and ends with your pet, right? So pets to go dot pet is our website. And these boxes are available in single packs. We tried to stay away from that, but the more people see it, the more they want it. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, don't, don't deny me. I don't, I don't, don't want to be denied. I want one of those. And I just got back from the hotel. So I don't want to have to go to the hotel and get one, you know? That's so right. I'm so, definitely going to the website. Say it again, pets to go, pets, the number two, go.pe. P-E-T, that's right. It's pets, P-E-T-S, the number two, G-O, dot pet. Got you, because it starts with pets and it ends with your pet. I like it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I like it. I love it. Now, listen, your 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 company is so ahead of its time, and it's perfect, perfect for now because uh, people are traveling a lot with their babies. Um, since we are, are starting to get back out, right? Um, yes. We don't want to leave them because we've been with them for what the last three years so now to go mm -hmm. somewhere without them they in shock they need you know so we are bringing them with us and to have that there bam i am beyond excited for this beyond so what inspired you to do this how did you come up with this idea you know 
back in early 2000s, right? So I'm an actor, I do voiceover work and all that other good stuff. I moved to Atlanta from New Orleans and I got an opportunity. Someone said, listen, I think I can get you an interview with Beyonce, would you go, we'll pay you. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll go and I'll do the interview. So I went from Atlanta, my cat was like, I'm going with you. <laughs> I'm get out of that truck. She was like, mm -mm, I'm going no. with you. And so I said, well, fine. So I, I drove to Chicago. We had the best time. And I had her hard side cat box in the back of the truck. Well, let me tell you, when I got there, they were like, no, no pets. I'm like, mm, yeah, well, I'm sneaking my cat in. And I tell that at all the hotel events that I do. I'm like, I'm the person that stuck my cat in, okay? Correct. Once I got her upstairs, I was thinking, there's no way I'm going to get that giant cat box with litter. It's already been used upstairs. Yes, yes. So, I asked the concierge, I said, hey, where's Walmart? He said, well, yeah, you go ask the, 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 the cab guy right there. He's going to take you. Well, just for that short period of time, it was $74. $16 of that was for a little cat box, litter, liners, and a scooper. $74. The rest was cab fare, right? So $16 out of $74 is what, is what I had to pay. And I'm thinking, right. you know, if the hotel would offer me this for $50, I would have paid for it. Because I did not know the city and I didn't want to have to just be driving around. That's true. And about, nobody want to go to Walmart when they. Nobody wants to go anywhere outside of that. You know, I was on the Magnificent Mile. Thank you. So I'm, I'm like, and I'm new to the city. Okay, I'm hearing about Chirac. I don't know what to expect. And right. so I thought to myself, if they would have had this here, I'd have bought it for 50 bucks. I'd have bought it for $100. Right. And then I said, you know what? I better start making and and during that time frame I came home from Bible study one night um, it was a Tuesday night and um, and I heard the Lord say just write this down mm -hmm. and so I did and it was about a disposable litter box called kitty to go and I started on that and that was May 16 2003 that I got the vision from through that I've been through uh, a foreclosure living with my parents again uh, using a food stamp card do all not Cause, anymore because nobody's laughing now. <laughs> right. Hey, listen, won't he do it? And I, I yes. want to pause right there for you to really, you know, let it sink in for a moment. Because a lot of times people don't tell what they went through. They just say, oh, I made it. I'm here. I've always been here. Right. Like I'm always been rolling in that dough. No. That's not, it is never that way when you walk with God because he'll give you the wealth, but he'll also give it to you with no sorrow. And I've lived, you know, I partied, I did that. I did all that. I, I was not pleased with my contribution to, to, to life. And to I didn't society, want to yeah. inside of gas chambers. If I had to work at a shelter, it, it's going down. You're not putting a cat or a dog in there. So I, I just said, Lord, where's my position here? And he said, you'll finance it. And so being a service disabled veteran, my company is service disabled veteran owned. The goal is to take some of these military bases and turn those into transport hubs so that we could at least get the dog somewhere safe. Also, when the people who are doing the rescues want to go on vacation, they also need a place to have uh, you know, their respite and, their, and the dogs are not in jeopardy of going to a kill shelter. Right, and that's scary. So the goal for us, we did our first transport of seven dogs. And I know that seems small to other people, but that's no. seven of them. We work with Rescue Me Georgia, Mary Beth Rathbun over there. We love you so much. Hey. She says, can I use your van? I, I got these seven dogs. They can't fit in my, in my car. I said, I would love to get, yeah, let's do it. They flew those dogs. They went from Atlanta to South Carolina and flew them to New Hampshire. They are out there playing in the snow. Girl, that is awesome and we're gonna do more of that our goal now we're gonna do a gofundme you're the first person that's hearing this so this is breaking oh, news we breaking are going news. to do a gofundme and we are going to raise enough capital to put 10 mercedes-benz vans the the 2500s in rotation seven days a week from atlanta up to the northeast to get the dogs out of the kill out of the shelters to places where they don't have enough dogs people want them right oh yeah it's going, that's what we're working on. I'll go fund me right now. I'm headed to Miami in the morning to meet with my team of 10 and we are going to put together the GoFundMe so that we can do more of this. Because if your baby got lost, God forbid, and, and then you find out years later that he wound up in a kill shelter and was heart stuck. And threw in the trash, like, oh, no, no, no. No animal deserves that. And so a portion of our sales go to aid the the rescue me georgia 
because the goal is, I mean, they got over 6,000 dogs out. Mary Beth had 58 dogs at her house, just at her house, not just in the network of people that work with her. And I always prayed, let me be effective. And then here's my opportunity. I'm going to run with it. Oh yeah. my gosh. I Listen, listen, listen. I got goosebumps because the fact that, you know, to save seven dogs, I, I'm, I'm a country girl born and raised um, on the farm. I'm just, I know girl, I'm like so touched because um, I love all animals, right? I'm the one that jump on that freeway and stop them to save a dog. I'm, yes. <laughs> I'm that crazy one. They're like, ah! get hit but I'm like don't hit this dog so I have always been I've had we can only have four dogs when we lived in California that was the limit but I had so many rescue dogs I would get them and say oh so you are definitely the same in mm-hmm. that way with animals because animals they're helpless they they completely depend on you they didn't do anything wrong they didn't they just I mean so I am so so excited and of course I know there's so many other pet lovers listening in today so make sure you stay connected with Angelina so that we can get on this GoFundMe page find out now how can I stay connected with you well we are most certainly on Instagram right at pets to go dot pet we're also on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is where we live right because there's so many business owners and CEOs and VPs of marketing and people who can really um, make a difference in the business community, which translates for us in the rescue side of things, not just in the sale of our products. You know, I've had money that didn't make me happy. Those seven dogs going out. Oh, brought said, tears to your eyes. The number seven is, is the, is the, the beginning of a thing, no, it's the end of a thing. And eight is a new beginning. And I'm like, I need those other vans. I right. need those animals to be out of there. I don't want them shaking in fear. I don't want them uh-huh. living in a three by three for four right. years and pause Atlanta. Like we can do that. We can so do that. There's so many people that just need a, a real tangible thing that they can touch. Well, they're going to be able to touch this at the IHG hotels all across the country. Ah. Uh- HG hotels. Yes. And, and then we have other hotels as well. We have a major distribution deal with Avendra. We are growing by leaps and bounds. And right now I'm sitting in the facility. I'd love to give you a, a tour of this place. When they come out, and I see what we have going on. I have two rescue dogs, Sam and Nunu, who I said, what am I going to do with these dogs? They're pooping everywhere. I sent them to, to school. I went with them. I learned how to communicate with dogs because I'm traditionally a cat person. Right, right, right. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to shoot shows and we're going to help the rescues do it because we can. And the hotel industry is going to be right behind us. I am so excited about this. So excited about this. Listen, not only are you making a difference, like my whole platform, right? My whole platform is live fit. And when I say fit, I mean focus, yeah. intentional, and transforming. And that's you, girlfriend. You are focused on rescuing pets. It, 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 your love for your animals and to not want to have one of them destroyed really, really drove you. You moved with intention and now you are transforming the game. I'm telling you, this is going to be wow. huge. Oh, look at you. <laughs> This is one of my rescues. Her name is Nunu. My husband brought her home and I moved out. I moved out for a week. This was the beginning of my dog ownership. I moved out for a week and stayed in Stone Mountain in a hotel. I said, I'm not living in a house with a dog pooping on the floor, peeing. Every- I'm not doing it. And so after a week, I said, okay, Lord, I can't divorce him over the dog. So send another one. And then another dog showed up here at my facility the next week with a mouthful of teeth, almost 90 pounds. I'm like, oh my Lord. I said, well, I did say send another one. And now we're inseparable. Look at this one. Oh, with that sweet face. Is it a French bulldog? She is an American bully and she's Amer- actually purebred. UKC. Um, I mean, all kinds of dogs. It doesn't matter. Yes. They go, they're at the shelter. If someone, you need a friend, don't shop. Please adopt. 
because you're going to find that that these pets have such unique personalities. You can think you can hear what they're thinking. They they console you. They just want to love you. You know, this is this is something that we can truly love it. make a new thing. Let's, yeah. let's do it together. <laughs> I'm I'm with you, girlfriend. I love that. Do you say you say don't shop, adopt. I love that. Please do. I really do. Now, listen, we, we, we are all behind Pets to Go. Again, make sure you go to her website, pets to the number two go dot pet and get your, your, um, a pack. That's right. Right. And, and make sure you support her. Find out about the GoFundMe page that's coming up because, you know, we got so many new things going, so many things that's happening and we want to support her. Okay. Okay. Everybody else, oh, everybody nodded. Everybody said, uh huh. But okay. listen, you know, I'm not going to be able to end this call before I can wrap it out without asking about you and your self care. You said earlier that you 48. Ah, I want to see your birth certificate, but I, right, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that go, um, because I'm right, I'm right behind you. I turned 50 in a couple of months, so I'll be 50 in. Well, uh, go ahead, which is in June. 50 is the new 20, ma'am. We have gotten a whole, we, we're walking by faith. We're feeling good. That whole negative cloud of not knowing what to do, when to do, doubting yourself, trying to figure it out. That's behind us. We've lived beyond that time. And now we've even lived beyond, you know, materialism. And now we're into really making an impact. Yes. Uh, 50 is the new 20. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, 50. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm like, yes, I'm going to take it. But listen, how do you take care of yourself? What does your self-care look like? And I always ask this question um, because, and, and, and one of my staples is like, how do you start your morning? Because so many successful people have a ritual that's very uh, common, right? Um, so can you tell us what does your self-care look like? How do Angelina take care of herself? How does Angelina take care of Angelina? Well, there's some things that I, I've come to realize. First, let, the, let that self-care start in my mind. And with my mind, I don't beat myself up for things that I don't get done. I just work to make it a, a, an easier situation for myself, i.e. I get up uh, for the most part at 4.30 every morning. I never used to do that. But the magnitude and the gravity of this business and how we're growing, I have to get up early and seek the Lord. And then that sets my mind for the day. I can get so much more done because I've, I, I have peace and I've centered myself and I remember who I am. I have my instruction for the day. After that, I'm really supposed to be working out. But I haven't, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> and, and after that is generally take my daughter to school but I, I really believe in getting massages and listening to people like Florence Scovel Shin on YouTube and let that play throughout to, out, throughout the day I love to listen to Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan for me everything is about up here because if I can expand my my capacity to compartmentalize things accordingly and not be so emotional about things in the business because I've been working here for two years. I literally got this place. It was empty. It's full of product. Uh, we have a full recording studio here. This 31,000 square feet, every inch of it is filled. And my husband and I worked here for two years nonstop. So okay. we're just getting to a point where we're like, so we went to Disney. I lay out on the beach. And I, my focus really is my mental state. Because it doesn't matter what comes or goes. If my mind, if that foundation can't hold it, I can't go any further. Love it. You guys heard it here. I, I, I say it all the time, but when other people say it, they tend to listen more. You understand what I'm saying? My mother. I, I say I've been doing this for over 20 years and they still like, ah, it, it ain't changed. I, I'm telling you, it all starts within. And, and the great thing about um, knowing that it can then uh, filter throughout everything in your life. 
like you said, you get your assignment in the morning, you wake up and you have that time to talk to God. And I, I do the same every morning I wake up, I, I meditate and then I do my devotion before mm -hmm. I even step my foot on the ground. I have to do that before I even get up. And sometimes if my husband get up, he's so funny. He knows now um, he'll look over to say something and then he go. That's right. You know, I'm meditating or sometimes he said you and I nod oh, and he leave it alone. So you have it all set up as well. You know, starting your day off with meditation, you know, self love and self responsibility is only ours. It is self. So thank you so much. You really have enlightened us so much on being a, a better person in this universe given to others. And a lot of times we forget about our pets uh, because we're struggling on our day-to-day -day just to take care of ourselves or our children. And then we our, our pets kind of uh, fall to the side, right? What can we afford? So that's why the shelters are very packed right now because a lot of people lost their job during COVID. Um, I actually have my daughter and her boyfriend here um, to do foster uh, foster for the pets while COVID. So they did have a lot of dogs and it was awesome because my husband won't let me get any more. <laughs> But we're doing our part. We're doing our part. I make sure we spread the word. So again, thank you so much for coming. You want to leave any last words for the people? I will say this. This is a season. And if you can hear my voice, this is a season. And this word is for you. That if you have a dream or a vision or a plan, turn off your television. You're not going to miss anything. You don't. Can you sacrifice 30 days of focusing on your vision? and seeing where you are in 30 days, just giving yourself that self-love because having your own business and getting out of the rat race will really give you a lot more depth. You'll begin to understand more about um, generational wealth. And let me tell you, that's where that radiance comes from when you know that no matter what goes on in the world, no matter who's bombing who, and no matter what's going on, I used to be in the army, so I get that, um, you don't have to worry, all is well. Wow, that's a that that's a perfect wrap up right there. I don't need to say anything else. Until next week, you guys, live fit. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miss Fit One Lifestyles. Listen, when you are fed up and sick and tired of living this stifled, overwhelmed, and overstressed life, and you're ready to live the fullest, richest, and healthiest life by gaining more confidence, more energy, and more clarity, living in your best self, you know what to do, right? Go ahead, go to my website, misfitone.com. Sign up for our online courses, Creating a Healthy Habit, so that you too can live fit, focus, move with intention, and transform your life.